Bom dia, good afternoon, good evening guys. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. Huh? Did you not outside? No. Today coming to you from this bedroom in Lagos and Porto. Yes, we are the family that went all in four years ago and started traveling the world, still traveling the world. Now coming to you guys from Lagos and Porto. Today we are moving to the next house. So that is why I'm filming inside of this house. We are packing the stuff, we are organizing everything, then everything needs to be loaded into the Bitcoin Prime Machina. And then later today, we will drive from here, five minutes further, to the next beautiful house where we unload all the stuff again and everything gets organized. I'm always referring to we, but Roman and the kids, I need to be honest, are mainly doing the organizing and the packaging stuff. I do the heavy carrying stuff into the car and out of the car, but that is how the roles are divided between us. In today's video, of course, I'm going to show you some amazing Bitcoin charts. We are also going to take a look at Grayscale because they are growing bigger and bigger. And we are going to take a look at 10 other publicly traded companies and how many Bitcoins they own. And much more news in today's video. So enjoy today's video, guys. everything is like neatly and stacks it's all her job what do you want this is her man this is really her man that check and we here have the bag with some shoes and there are the rest of the bags like the hamster cage look he's up he's awake have some groceries and some shoes and my guitar and then in the kitchen, of course, a little bit stuff as well. So yeah, it's not a lot, and it will all hopefully fit into the Prime Machina. I don't want to walk to the beach. Let's do it the traditional way, the way I used to do it always, and the way you really liked it, because I was always jumping into another beautiful place. So I'm going to jump today into the beach because I want to spare the whole walk to the beach. Let's go to the beach. One, two, three, whoop, whoop. Bam, we are on the beach, guys. Let's start the video with the family part. It's a very short family part because we as a family are going to move today from the apartment to a four bedroom villa. Yes, you heard me right, a villa. And we are only taking this villa because it's damn cheap because of the winter time in Portugal. But it's a beautiful villa with a pool, a jacuzzi, four bedrooms, everything we need. So we are going to have a really cool time over there as well. The only thing in this family part that I want to talk to you about is guys, what would you like to see that we as a family film? We have so many subscribers, so many followers, and I'm always filming what I want to film, but I would love to know what you guys want to see. What is it that triggers you to follow our family? What is it that you like about our adventure? And what is it that you would like to see that we are not filming at the moment? Is it about the schooling? Is it about how we spend Bitcoins? Is it about how we are insured? Whatever, you know, so comment below the video what you would love to see of this Bitcoin family. What do you want to see? Do you want to see the adventure part where we discover Portugal? Do you want to see us doing strange stuff? You know, we want to make this whole brand growing into one huge Bitcoin family where you are part of this Bitcoin family. So that was the family part. Now let's jump into the Bitcoin part, the part where I bump you with some charts. Bam! Welcome to the Bitcoin TA part, guys. In this part, it was just like two second walks for me. It was like a whole bam for you. But in this part, we are talking about some charts. And let's start with a couple of charts of this day, the 15 minute chart, like a one hour chart and a four hour chart. Let's start with the 15 minute chart. Bam. On this 15 minute chart, guys, you can see the bam bam indicator down below in the chart. You can see that this white line was nearing the 70 level at 12 o'clock last night. At that point, we are almost stopping out. So you can expect that we are going down. And exactly that is what we did. You can see that this blue line is crossing downwards on the top green line. And it's going towards this white line. And the moment we see this blue line crossing this top 
green line to the downside means that we are going to see a short. At the same time, you can also see this yellow line that was stopping out when the white line went all to the 70 level. And that, then the yellow line went like sideways and then we got one staircase down. You know, you can see the yellow line going down like a stair. The moment we saw this yellow line going down and we saw this blue line crossing downwards on the green line, this is the moment we knew we were going to have a short and that is the moment when the Didi Bam Bam indicator said go short now or sell your bitcoins now. And now later in the day you can see that the white line went all the way down to the 40 level and the blue line now starts to curl up again to break the bottom red line. This means that we are probably going to see a long. I'm just trying to educate you on how the Didi Bam Bam indicator works. I think it's a really cool strategy that can help you with trading. Because like you can see on this chart, BAM! Bitcoin is now around 13,700. We could go all the way up to 14,500, the top level of this channel we are moving in. And then when we touch this 14,500 level, that is the moment that we can expect to pull back all the way to 13k or even 12,500 US dollar per Bitcoin to reload and test 14k again and then break it and take it all the way up to 16k. Please remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a dude walking on the beach in Portugal that shows what he is doing and how he is setting up his trades, nothing else. So don't see any of these things as financial advice, but just as education and just showing you what I'm doing and how I'm multiplying my Bitcoins. And yes, you can follow my steps. And yes, you can sign up to the Discord server and you can sign up to this Telegram channel. And there we will educate you a little bit more and more on how to set up your trades and give you more educational information like really cool documentaries, films, where you can shop with Bitcoin and all that stuff we will include in the Discord channel. So make sure you sign up to the Discord channel. But like you can see on this chart guys, yes, we could go to 14,500, then drop down to the 12K region to reload, to collect our friends, to knock on their doors. Come on guys, wake up, wake up, wake up. We need to buy Bitcoin. Then all these people again will start to buy Bitcoin and we will take it up again to 14K and maybe then break it to see 16K in the near future. Really cool, in my opinion, because I think everything is still bullish. We have created a higher high on the weekly. We have created a higher low on the weekly. We are still moving in the weekly upward channel. And in my opinion, if you zoom out to the week and to the monthly chart and even to the yearly chart that I shared on uh, the video with hard forking, and I always prefer to zoom out a little bit more than only the weekly. So let's zoom out to the yearly chart. Bam! On this yearly chart, you can see, guys, that every cycle is the same. We had three green candles and a red candle. That's the bear year. Then we get again three green candles and a red candle. Again, a bear year. And now we just formed two green candles. So the next year, 2021, will be another green candle, which will be the biggest green candle from the whole cycle. You can see when you look to the left on the chart that the third green candle in every cycle was the biggest explosive candle. We are going to see this candle in 2021. So this chart is really awesome if you are an investor and you want to zoom out onto the charts instead of zooming in into the charts. So don't freak out always zoom out and then you see that next year is going to be a really cool year but i also need to admit you guys that the talking part about these charts is completely not my favorite part i am in this industry for the true fundamentals i talk about the prices because that gets the followers in i'm completely open and very honest in this and I need some more subscribers, you know, to reach people and to educate people about this true fundamentals. And the only way I can do it at the moment is to include these charts. But that's not my favorite part. My favorite part is talking about the true fundamentals. My favorite part is sharing with you how it is to live this decentralized life with a family, non-schooling, completely free, not owning anything not even having bank accounts and still traveling the world. That is what I want to show you. And I want to show you all these beautiful startup projects that are decentralizing some parts of the world, some parts of this industry. That is what my focus should be. But I can't completely focus on that now because I need to have subscribers and they only come in through these charts. The more videos I will create, you can expect from this channel that the focus is going to be bigger and more on the family life 
on creating a huge Bitcoin family that wants to change the world on all the blockchain fundamentals, on the Bitcoin fundamentals, on other crypto projects, on the crypto adoption, where we'll visit stores that accept Bitcoin, etc., instead of talking about the charts. So the charts section will be shorter in the videos, but instead of that, I will add all the TA stuff and all the charts on a daily basis, like clockwork, in my Discord channel. So if you're only into the charting part, then I would always sign up to the Discord channel now because on this Discord channel, guys, I will give you on a daily basis a 15-minute chart, a one-hour chart, a four-hour chart, and a day chart so you know every morning again what I expect of the markets because then I can shift the focus from all the TA people into the Discord channel and you can focus on trading and I can focus on creating really cool kick-ass videos that are more about blockchain and life and mindset because that is really what my passion is it's not talking about money and prices it is about the evolution of the monetary system blockchain and life so the ta part go to discord sign up now the link is down below this video so let's jump now into the blockchain slash news part this one bam the first thing i want to tell you guys is that we just saw 1 billion US dollar worth of Bitcoin moved out of a wallet that was connected to the Silk Road. What is the Silk Road? The Silk Road is that thing that Ross Ulbricht created, this marketplace where you could spend your Bitcoins for legal and illegal stuff. And that's why the guy is still in prison. But there was a wallet connected to the Silk Road. And now 1 billion US dollar worth of Bitcoin was moved from that wallet to another wallet. That's in total 96,370 Bitcoins that changed from wallet. And it was the first time since 2015 that these Bitcoins moved. And you know how much the fee was? The fee for moving 1 billion US dollar of value was $12. Can you please show me one bank or one other centralized organization that controls money that they can send or shift 1 billion US dollar of value for the cost of $12? I don't think you will find a solution. Yes, Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency, but it won't be in a traditional banking system trust me they just won't be able to do it or they need to do it by a back door and then they will just have privileges that the normal customers don't have but that's not what I mean I mean do it in the way that we as a customer of the banking system could do it as well or a Western Union or whatever other service you would try to use to send 1 billion US dollar worth of value all over the world show me a better alternative than Bitcoin man and you're a champ the next part of guys I want to talk about is grayscale Grayscale is becoming bigger and bigger and bigger. They are almost nearing 500,000 Bitcoins. So they are almost hodling 500,000 Bitcoins. That's a shitload of Bitcoins, 500,000 Bitcoins. Do you know how many Bitcoins that are? That's like, it, that's like crazy, crazy amount of Bitcoins. Like you can see on this chart, bam, they are accumulating Bitcoins every week. Check how many Bitcoins they have been collecting. The last week, $215 million worth of Bitcoin. If they reach 500,000 Bitcoins at the end of 2020, they will hodl 2.7% of the total available Bitcoins out there. That's a huge number. If Bitcoin is going to do in 2021 what it is supposed to do, then Grayscale will be in one run, I think the richest and the biggest company out there. Next to Grayscale guys, there is like 10 other publicly traded companies that own a shitload of Bitcoins as well. You can see this on this chart. Bam! On the first place, this big yellow circle is Grayscale with 449,000 and a few hundred Bitcoins at the moment. That circle will be bigger at the end of this year. On the second place, you have coin shares with 69,700 in Bitcoins. On the third place, you have MicroStrategy with 38,000 Bitcoins. And yes, that is where the Norwegian government is invested into with their pension fund. So yes, a lot of Norwegians are getting a cool pension because they just probably 
onboarded this Bitcoin bull run without even knowing that they held Bitcoins because the Norwegian government is invested in MicroStrategy. I think they are like 3% owner of MicroStrategy. So yes, MicroStrategy invested in Bitcoin big time. So if Bitcoin will fly up, the pension funds, they will be secure for the Norwegian people. On the fourth place is Galaxy. They own 16,600 and something Bitcoins. And on the fifth place, 31Q, they own 8,000 295 bitcoins and then we have btce they huddle like 5000 bitcoins and then square they huddle like 4700 bitcoins hut 8 is huddling about 2800 bitcoins voyager is huddling about 1200 bitcoins riot they just have thousand bitcoins just have thousand bitcoins <laughs> i would i wish i would i wish i had thousand bitcoins Digital X, yeah, we're getting lower. They only have 215 bitcoins. And Argo has about 126 bitcoins. So these are like 10 publicly traded companies that own a shitload of bitcoins. So my question now to you guys is, if all these publicly traded companies are buying bitcoins, they are probably buying it with the reason that they want to have profit. And probably many more of these publicly traded companies will join the queue and they'll start to buy bitcoins because they now saw that PayPal is also onboarding the whole Bitcoin industry and many other big companies is doing this as well. So if all these publicly traded companies, these huge, huge entities start to buy into Bitcoin, these 10 in total already hold $6 billion worth of Bitcoins, which is about like 600,000 Bitcoins at the moment, then what is going to happen to Bitcoin in the future? Is Bitcoin turning into a rich man's tool or is it going to be a peer-to-peer -peer cash that it should be if we read the Satoshi's white paper? I think that is a very important discussion we need to do. Because in my opinion, Bitcoin should be a peer-to-peer -peer cash and yes, I understand that a lot of countries and companies are now hedging their reserve assets into Bitcoin because they see Bitcoin as a store of value and they see Bitcoin as digital gold. They see Bitcoin as an investment tool or as a protection of their capital because they believe that there will be a huge inflation after the crisis. Are we then still creating and using this beautiful tool of blockchain and Bitcoin for the reason it was created? become a peer-to-peer -peer cash and to keep the power to the people to give all these people an alternative of cash money but now digital is then still going to take care of the privacy of spending can we still spend bitcoin can the normal people still reach bitcoin buy bitcoin and spend it like a peer-to-peer -peer cash or will bitcoin definitely become this new store of value comparable to gold for only rich institutional investors or publicly traded companies or billionaires and millionaires. Let me know your opinion down below the video. Is Bitcoin slowly shifting to become a rich man's tool or will Bitcoin make a curveball and yes, get all these people into it now and then we'll come with this new update in the technology, a second layer or a first layer solution that then will completely change Bitcoin again to a peer-to-peer -peer cash. And if we are not doing this, which currency do you believe, which cryptocurrency, sorry, do you believe that is going to fulfill the peer-to-peer -peer cash role if Bitcoin will evolve into a rich man's digital gold comparable tool? Which currency then is going to fulfill the profit of a peer-to-peer -peer cash that is decentralized and that is really focusing on giving everybody in the world an equal access to a peer-to-peer -peer cash system. Tell me, which currency do you believe that this is going to do if Bitcoin is not going to succeed? That is the stuff I really like to share with you about and that is the stuff I really like to have your feedback on because you know, we need to educate each other guys. And if we start to educate each other now, then we can change the world together. Then we can grow into this huge kick-ass Bitcoin family. Yes, that's why we created the Bitcoin family. We are evolving from a five-headed family, hopefully into a 10 million-headed family that is there to change the world for the better and not for the worse. So these things I will talk about more and more. So guys, I hope you really enjoyed today's video. I need to go home now. 
and I need to load up the car because we need to drive the car to the next house and unload it there again. So we have a busy day today, but I really hope you enjoyed the video. I will add the video of moving to the house and all that stuff in tomorrow's video so we don't have a too long video today. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends or family, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell and please leave a comment down below the video because I love to respond and to be educated by your comments. By the way, some really big news coming up next Friday. So keep following my Twitter and subscribe to a Discord or a Telegram group because then you will be the first that will have this really cool news that's coming out on Friday. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bye.